about it. I'm still on probation, and I hold the pill, don't search my house, got too many travel. I gave her chance and chance, I gave her my life, but she was just in and out. It's the most simple progression. This shit is the most used progression ever, so. It really don't matter the, if the progressions are overused. You can still make a hard ass song with it in multiple different genres. So. That's the progression right there. Then you got the first counter melody. For the counter melodies, I use the pentatonic scale. Gotta hit a guitar piece after this part. <laughs> I wish. I, I'm not really prepared for that. But yeah, this is the second counter melody. That's the high one. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Two notes, but that should go hard. And the last. Yeah, yeah it ain't too much. It's simple, simple, simple guitar. Simple progression, nothing too crazy. Where did I route this? Alright, this is the channel 4. The effects on this one added a little bit of a reverse. I think you can hear in the sample, it kind of like reverses a bit. Added some reverb, delay, EQ. Nothing crazy, bro. Crazy, took out some of the load, you know. And that's it. That's the whole first sample. Really super simple. Like four layers, one guitar. That's pretty much it. This proved that I'd be overcomplicating loops. Facts. Well, so I, I'm 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 victim to that too. I'd be overcomplicating my shit too. But yeah. So that's the first sample. Um, I remember when I made the sample, I literally said, "Let me make the most generic ass chord progression." Cause like I was overcomplicating my shit, trying to like make the guitar sound super bouncy and shit. I said, "Let me make the most like generic shit," cause I needed to send out some melodies for that week. It ended up being, you know what I'm saying, the vaccine melody. I think I rendered it. And I pitched it up. Same tone. And that ended up being the, the final melody. Then when I rendered it, is there anything you do to make the frets slide quieter? Uh, No. Usually, usually the fret slides kind of add to the sample. It kind of adds like texture to it. But if you really don't have any fret slides, just play each chord one at a time. That way you don't have to slide to the next. Um, yeah, I read into the shit. Then I did the little second part. Shout to my boy Money Every. He flipped one of my guitar samples, and what he did is he played the the normal sample at the normal pitch. Then in the second half, he he um uh, pitched it down an octave. That's what I do in a lot of my samples now. I pitch it down an octave, and then I add some like bell counter melodies or some ambient counter melodies on top of it. That's what I did here. I added this vocal from Nami's one one shot pack or something. And I think also a little bell from Nami's pack too. And then a sub bass, my boy Ferno. Yeah, it's pretty much it. Second sample. I made this one in July. So the first one I made it in February of last year. This one is in July of last year. This sample too was in the. It was supposed to be in one of my guitar sample packs. But then the song released, so I was like, Nah, I can't put it. In. It's already in a record. This one is the. This one is my favorite. That shit too hard. The second part is my favorite part. But yeah, this sample is called Valentine. I don't know why I call it Valentine. It had it had some of had like a emotional feel to it type shit. But yeah, I want to play that shit back one more time. That shit had like an emotional feel to it. I knew like no cap or Rollo Roger guys could have snapped on this type of shit. Yeah. So that's that. So first thing I started with was um, a layer on the low E string on my guitar. The low E string and the, the low the string after that. So I just played some like melodies on there. Simple shit.
chord progression is the the chord progression you hear in a lot of Rod Wave songs. Basically. But instead of playing the full chord, what I did was play it on the low, like the low strings. These two right here. That's the first layer. And I played it for context on this PRS electric guitar. That's the first layer. The first layer though, my, my strings weren't tuned. So what I did is I rendered this and I sent it to um, Pitch Corrector NFL Studio. This pitch corrected it. So we got that. Then we got this first counter melody that I added. Actually, no, this is not the first common melody. This is basically just chords that I replayed as actual chords instead of just playing them on the low E string. This is too hard. And I added some counter melodies, you know what I'm saying? This little thing at the end, this little, I feel like that's one of the, the bigger parts of the melody, how it ends, kind of, this note right here kind of brings it back into the start of the melody. But yeah. So one thing, I'll, a few tips, right? These counter melodies, you can see they're like, they're not too busy. It's not like a solo that would start in the beginning and go all the way to the end. It like just, just plays in certain pockets of the melody, right? Also, at the end here, I layered the melody. The one big thing in make, like getting that guitar sound is layering the melodies and harmonizing them too, because this right here harmonizes with this these last two notes. But yeah, after that, I added some transition notes right here and this transition note. This note, bro, this note sounds so fucking like heavenly. It sounds so godly. It's crazy. And yeah, I added this, this last little layer in the background. This layer kind of builds into these last two notes. And that's it, bro. That's the whole melody right there. Simple too. This is a little bit more complicated, but shit. Simple as well. I know the facts. But yeah, that's it. That's the melodies of no cap vaccine, bruh. Yeah. Probably my most my most like the song that I'm most proud of. Like my, my biggest placement as well. It's crazy. Hopefully it goes gold. That'd be special. But yeah, that's it, man. That's the final melody. This breakout way earlier, but fuck it, we still got it.